Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question from Nicholas about math in software development. I thought this was an interesting one here. So he says, uh, thank you so much for all your great content and hard work. Simple Programmer is helping me get a better handle on what I want to do with my career, as well as becoming more mindful of financial planning and many other aspects which I consider to be important for a healthy, enjoyable life. Here's a simple and, not so, and yet not so obvious frequently asked question. How much math do you need as a programmer? Uh, he says, I've been reading a lot about this subject, especially as I chose courses, choose courses at a university. I read an article that pointed out that computer science and programming were essentially created out of the need for heavy duty computation in hard sciences, especially math. Think Alonzo Church and Alan Turing. But over the years, it has evolved to include a much larger breadth of subjects which require far less math, at least in the programming end. So uh, I'm gonna summarize a little bit here, but essentially he goes on to ask, you know, about, about the, you know, really, do, do you need math when, when you're doing things like working on frameworks and, and, uh, and, and programming in general today? So, and how, how far do you need the math to go? So honestly, I would say that it's important to have some kind of background in math, right? You should at least know algebra because a lot of you know variables and programming is gonna is gonna be similar in some regards to algebra. If you know some uh, some calculus, then you're gonna be able to solve problems in a way that's probably a lot more efficient than a lot of people. Because the thing is, like if you don't know calculus, you're not gonna recognize the type of problems, algorithm type of problems that exist in the world. Like when you know calculus and you know it well, you're gonna see this and you're gonna say, oh, this is a max uh, min problem. And, and, and you're gonna identify that and you're gonna say there's a formula, there's a way to calculate this. Whereas if you don't know it, you're not even gonna realize that that solution exists and you're gonna to try to hack together some kind of solution. So, so it, it's sort of like, so math in that regards is sort of like learning design patterns, right? It, design patterns in programming can help you because you recognize a certain circumstance and you say, oh, this is just like this, this is observer pattern and I can just apply this pattern and it gives you sort of a shortcut. So now again, this is gonna depend on where you're programming, what type of thing you're doing. If you're doing a lot of web-based work where you're doing a lot of front end work, you're probably not going to hit those type of problems as much, although you may sometimes, right? But if you're doing a lot with the, the user interface and, and the design and passing data down to a database doing like CRUD type of applications, probably math isn't gonna be so important. But I guarantee you if you're working on a real-time embedded operating system or you're doing something with image processing or something that's gonna require some heavy algorithmic computations, that math is gonna play a lot bigger part. So it really, really depends on, on where you go with it. It can't hurt to have a high level of math, you know. If, if, I were, if I were to, even if I were to self-study, I would, and become a programmer, I would wanna self-study definitely algebra, I'd want to know calculus and I'd want to know some discrete and foundational math because uh, having the logic aspect of it, the discrete and foundational math really gives you the logic aspect of it. And that, that, that's going to help you a lot because a lot of programming is logic and, and and ors and conditions. So that's going to help you. It's not required, but again, that, that would help you. So I guess the long and short of it is basically this. No, you don't really need math. You can be a programmer, a software developer. There's plenty of software that you can develop without strong math skills but having it is gonna help you. It's like another tool in your tool belt. It's not an absolute requirement, but there's gonna be certain places where you know it, it, something could have taken you 20 hours to write this code to solve this problem, but because you know calculus and you realize that this is a max min problem or whatever it is, or finding the area you know, type of problem, you can instantly apply this and have this done in an hour. So it's gonna save you the, the 19 hours in those cases. So it's up to you to decide you know, how deep to go with that and, and, you know, and where, what you become as a software developer, like I said, what technology you choose, where you decide to work is gonna determine that. Uh, you, know, you can always learn on your own too, math. You know, there's things like Khan Academy now, which, uh, which is a really good resource for, for learning math, especially advanced math, and you can learn on your own. Like, so so you know, if, you, if you don't like the kind of going to school and doing the college textbooks math, that, that's fine. You know, so you, I, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna say, what I wanna make sure that I, 
don't say is that, oh, if you can't cut it in college math, then you can't be a programmer because that I want to dispel. That's not true, right? If you can't cut it in college math, you know, okay, fine. If you still want to be a programmer, fine, you can do it. But you know, don't. But don't ignore math if if you can do it. Even if if you just have a cursory like level knowledge. Even if you you can just like identifying the problems, identifying the the those algorithms to realize that there's a mathematical solution that someone's already solved this. Even if you don't know how to solve, it, you can always look it up, right? You don't have to have all the equations memorized. Uh, when I first started out in in the field, I had this book, this fat book. I forgot what it was called. It's like the Encyclopedia of Math or something. It had like every single equation, and 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 I worked in the image processing a lot with uh, with printers and stuff. And so there would always be like kind of problems, and I'd look it up. I'd for, I I know about it because I had enough knowledge of math. I don't remember the equation, but I would go and look it up, and then I could I could solve the problem. This was before you could you know Google anything. So anyway, good question. Uh, hopefully uh, you you found this useful. If if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel. All right, talk to you next time. Take care.